Today's video is brought to you by Oxbeam Lighting. What's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. So this is my 97 Mitsubishi Mirage and I call this my lab rat because this is where I've ran most of my experiments from the oil-based paint that I wasn't familiar with at the beginning but it's been the second time that I painted already. A turbocharger that you know never worked with turbochargers but I managed to you know install one in my car and the car is to, uh, what it is today because of the small things that I've added you know throughout the years right here working on YouTube but today I have a product and this is a 8 gang multi-function switch panel and this one comes in from Oxbeam lighting so huge thanks to Oxbeam for you know sending this product uh, so I'm going to show you guys what comes inside the box, which everything is laid, laid down right here on the table. And I'm going to go ahead and start by showing you guys the little fuse and relay box. This one, uh, it can handle up to 12 to 24 volts and it has an input of 60 amps, which the kit also includes a 60 amp breaker, which uh, in case it, it uh, jumps, you can also reset it. They also send in some power wires. They send in two uh, power wires and one ground which from your battery uh, you have a power coming in to your circuit breaker and then after the circuit breaker you have the power going over to your uh, relay box over here and then you also have the ground which just ground straight to your relay box uh, you also have your controller and this is an eight gang so you have eight toggle switches or you can have them momentary like if you're going to install horn uh, you just do it momentary uh, so yeah you have up to eight uh, places you can mount and of course you have your harness which let me show you over here so this is the lid out of plastic but it's really nice and covered inside we have a little clip for all your fuses so you can replace and then you have some extra fuses right there uh, right here on the relay box so we'll start right here on top you have a four pin connector which that one is right here this black uh, harness and that one's going to be for your controller and then the other one is a two pin connector which is this red one which is going to be for your accessory whenever you start your ignition like your key uh, that's when it powers up your relay box right here and then everything starts working if you can't tap into something they also included one of these uh, it's like a fuse you can tap into an existing fuse whenever you start your key that it gets power so you can get some power from there so we have that, the mounting hardware, and we also have some brackets. We have the swivel mount bracket that we can install on the controller, install it somewhere, or if you want to mount it flat, you could also uh, just bolt this one up from behind the controller right here, and then you have a place to mount it to a panel inside your car. Um, and then you also have a bracket over here uh, to mount, it, mount the fuse uh, relay box flat somewhere or if you're going to mount it like on a firewall you have this other bracket and then you sit your your relay box right here on top so there's the there's the controller box right here now this works for anything from 12 to 24 volts so it could work in a car truck atv utv a boat you can connect anything from light bars fans fuel pumps water pumps aeration pumps anything you want to connect you have a relay and a fuse before your connections right here so this is where you connect your power input your ground and then of course your accessory is going to be over here so i'm going to go ahead and find a spot for this one on my mitsubishi i'm going to wire a few things for now i'm going to probably wire some quick things like the fan or maybe like the horns uh, but later on i do have some other things that i do want to wire up I have a upgraded uh, fuel pump for my car, so I don't want to use the original factory wiring. I want to do some upgraded wiring and might as well put it on a toggle switch on and off and, you know, stuff like that to the car. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and just find a place where we can mount the relay box and then I'll get back to you guys. Alright, so I'm going to use this bracket right here and I'm going to mount it on these holes probably on this one. I have a bolt that fits right there.
all right guys check it out i installed the bracket right here and the relay box so it's nice and firm um, i also went ahead and routed the power wires so coming from the battery straight to the circuit breaker we have the 60 amp circuit breaker right there and then from the circuit breaker i ran the power to the relay box and then for the ground i just connected it right here in the relay box and connected straight to body ground so it has a nice ground also and then we have the connections right here in the bottom we have a two pin connection with the red wire so this is going to be accessory as soon as you start ignition or put in your key or some type of power comes in here this relay box starts working so i used that fusible link that they sent which is uh, you know uh, i pulled out the fuse it was a 10 amp fuse for the horn and that's where i connected this wire and i'm getting my accessory from there and then the fuse for the horn i just installed it on this wire same so i'm getting my accessory from there this other four pin connection is for the controller that goes inside so i already routed that one right there through the firewall and it goes inside so the last thing we had to do is just connect the controller on the inside and then we'll come back out here and start installing some stuff right here in the relay box all right so this is where i mounted my controller right here on this radio bezel since i didn't have the ashtray that goes right there um, I just screwed on the bracket, I put two bolts right here from behind, and then I just tilted it all the way to the top, and it fits perfect right there. I like it. So, let's go ahead and install this. This is just, um, I have the wires for the lighter, and then my cigarette lighter adapter. So it's just going to go right here. Let me go ahead and put this on, and I'll show you. Alright, this is the harness that comes from the fuse or relay box, and then this one right here is the one that comes from the controller. So on this one we have an o-ring you know to help with weather moisture or dust and then we have the four pins and we also have a little line like a guide so you can align it with this one and it helps uh, just make sure that all the connections are right and then we have a plastic nut right here and we're just going to tighten it Okay guys, so this is how the controller looks right here on my radio bezel, uh, and everything's nice and firm, it doesn't move. The wire, I tucked it in from you know behind right here through the ashtray, and then right now I still have the wire right there, but I'm going to uh, zip tie it up underneath the dashboard. So everything's already connected, if I turn on the key, the little controller turns on so it's ready for you know to start powering things. Um, I'm going to show you something real, real quick right here. So this is the controller. You have all the buttons. You have eight buttons. Uh, if you want to connect the light or something, you know, right here, you just push the button and it turns on red. So it's like a toggle switch on and off, on, off. If you want to wire something like a horn that you want to, you know, for it to be momentary, uh, right here in the off, on button right here in the center, just double, double click it. And now all these are flashing. Um, so you can change right here from red, which is toggle on and off click it and it'll turn blue which is momentary like uh, for the horn and you could also click it again and it's green so green is pulsed I haven't worked with that option but we'll see if we can look into it um, but toggle switch on and off blue is momentary so let's just say there and we'll push off on button again so now every time you push it it comes out blue but as soon as you release it turns off so this works right there for a horn beep beep instead of beep okay another thing is this little circle right here you guys see that uh, so that one right there is actually a light sensor so whenever it turns dark outside or inside the car you'll see that the let me lock the screen right here uh, so the lights are bright red right there and as soon as you cover it no light coming in it thinks that it's dark so it goes dim then as soon as you release it brightens up again so there it is guys um, one more thing that I want to tell you about the controller is right here in this pamphlet uh, if you have an Android or a Apple phone you can scan this QR code and this will download the app for the controller which I believe is called uh, switch panel but from the app you have many other settings that you can change uh, this kit sent in one sticker sheet of little stickers of the things that you could like uh, wire up on there depending um, but right here in the app there's hundreds more 
uh, to choose from you could also upload your own personal photos you could also rename them and you could also change the color on the controller right now i have it in red because i have a red interior but through the app you can go in there and you can change it to any color you want you can change the brightness on it manually uh, like i said right here it has a sensor so if it detects that it's dark it will go dim and if it's daytime it'll go bright so really cool like that there's many other features inside the app so be sure to check that one out uh, in the meantime i'm gonna go ahead and just wire up some things outside on the relay box and then we'll just come back in here and try them out all right guys so i managed to wire up the horns right here i wired them up to the relay box and i put them right here on a 10 amp fuse uh, so jumping over here on the inside i figured out what the pulse was right now the key is on so this thing is on so remember red means on off um, so it's this one right here so you see that's red now if we double click and then we switch it to blue now you see it's just momentary now if we double click again and we turn it to green and check this out <laughs> it's a pulse <laughs> so really cool i wonder what that looks like and some fog lights that would be really really cool off-road lights or something all right so this is the order of the relays which is one two three four five six seven eight so five six seven eight are the bottom ones so on the controller box you'll have number one two three four which is a 30 amp 30 amp 20 20 10 10 5 5 i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, put one for the horn right here in the bottom since i already made my decision and wired everything up i'm comfortable with uh with 10 amps for the horn we don't need much more than that right now it's at pulls so that's toggle on and off and then uh momentary so there all right guys so that's going to be it for today's video uh we installed the uh fuse box the relay box right here wired up all the wiring we installed the circuit breaker and tossed the controller for, uh, to the inside so everything's all wired up we also installed the horns just wired up the horns to one of the fuses and it works we tried out the the, the switches which is the toggle switch on and off the blue one is just a uh, momentary and then the green one is a pulse which I thought the pulse was really cool if you wire up some fog lights light bars anything uh it turns them from an ordinary light bar to a flashing or strobe light so really cool feature this i give this a five stars because you know it works for lots of situations cars like this uh maybe it's not a race car but i can wire up horns fans fuel pumps uh anything later on you know uh, trucks, you know, off-road trucks have lots of lightings, light bars and tops, you know, rock lights on the bottom, all that. Like it's like they specialized, like they made this product specially for off-road because Oxbeam is just a brand for uh, lighting, so it's a really good brand. So this is a really good product as well. It also works for ATVs and UTVs, side by sides. You know, you always have your spotlights driving at night and all that stuff. So this is one huge. Uh, well, it's not really huge like literally but it's just one relay box that you can connect all your lighting to and not have wiring all over the place it's just in one place so even in boats so in boats you have uh you know like your water pump because you know to take out the water from inside the boat in case it's flooding you have lights you know even light bars flood lights and all that stuff to see in the water when you're fishing maybe late afternoon or at night and aeration pumps, once you catch fish, throw them inside your boat or whatever, keep them inside water. They need some air so it can stay alive and not just go bad right there. So anything, you can wire anything on this product. So that makes it really, really awesome. And uh, yep, like I said, I give this, uh, this product a thumbs up, five stars. I do recommend it. And you know, once again, huge thanks to Ox Oxbeam for sponsoring this video. 
That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next one. Peace out.